YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. It's your boy Jacob from Tiny Tapes here. Today I'm gonna to be walking you guys through a quick coloring tutorial in Premiere Pro. Everything I use in this video will be on my LUT pack. If you guys want to go check it out, it is in the description below. It has over 250 different and unique LUTs in it for a steal of a price. But without further ado, let's hop right into the video. All right, guys, so we have four clips here. What I like to do for my coloring is I like to create adjustment layers. I don't like to color the actual clip itself. So we're gonna create an adjustment layer here and drag it on top of the clip. Make sure you go over to window and then go down to Lumetric color and add it to your thing here just so you don't have to apply it every time. Once you open up your Lumetric color tab, you're going to go over to a creative and then look. Like I said, we're going to be using my LUT pack for this video. So we're just going to go with a random one here. Let's see what 183 looks like. That looks pretty cool there. Once you have your LUT on, you want to go over to basic correction and then we're going to start color correcting the footage. All right, guys. So the first thing that I think this needs is I think it needs the shadows to come down a little bit and then the highlights to come up. Maybe add a little bit more contrast to the image here. Turn the whites up just to pull the background out and then maybe turn down the blacks a little bit. You can do with a little bit less exposure and more highlights. All right. And then I think I'm going to add a little bit more green to this footage because I like that filmy green look. And then we can turn up the orange a tad bit more. Let's see how this looks here. That looks cool so far. So once again, with the light and without the light, as you can see, we already have a pretty nice grade there. What I like to do is I'll add another adjustment layer and then we'll go back into our LUTs. And I like to stack LUTs on top of each other. So one of my favorite combos to do is see this film five on top. As you can see, it gives you that orange and teal look, but it's way way too much right now. So I'm just gonna turn it up a tad bit just to add a little bit more depth to the, depth to the footage. You guys can see it, may, it might even be a little bit much there with the correction, without the correction, going back and forth. I'm gonna go on top of this new one as well and then add a little bit more highlights just to make Dommy pop a little bit more and then turn the shadows down a tad bit all right and then for a lot of my videos i like to go and i like to apply vignettes on them i'm just gonna drag and drop my vignette on this footage here you guys can just find them on the internet i think i got this one on google images so since i'm dealing with a four by three ratio for vignettes unclick the uniform scale and then drag the width till it matches and there we go i just like to have that on top of there because it makes the center of the frame more visible so i'm gonna play that through for you guys without it and then with it If you guys want to add a tiny bit more sauce, I know I keep on adding things to it, but uh, we have a pack on our website that is the Vintage Film Look Pack. In that Vintage Film Look Pack, we have a bunch of film looks. I like the grain. I'm going to drag and drop our grain from that pack in here. Scale it to match the video and then turn it on overlay. Put the vignette on top of that. And there we go. We have a nice little grain. If you guys aren't a fan of how thick it is, you can turn the opacity down to whatever you guys like. I like to have a little bit of grain on my videos. And there we go. That is the first clip colored. All right, guys. Now moving on to the second clip here, we're going to drag and drop an adjustment layer on and we're going to find a completely different random one so going over to little color again click on it go to creative browse and then let's go with number 30. so number 30 it looks like it's making the blues and the pinks pop a lot so we're going to bring this out a little bit more just coloring it a little bit different than how it was colored in the last one last one i went for more of a, a green and orange vibe so turning the contrast up the shadows down make the highlights pop a little bit more maybe turn the pink down a little bit turn the blacks down the whites up and then i think the shadows could still go down a little bit and then we're going to drag that grain on with the vignette and boom it literally took me two seconds maybe this could do without a little bit less saturation totally up to you guys if you guys want to go for that look so without with or you guys can turn up the saturation i don't like how the orange is being blown out on his face so i'm going to turn the saturation down a bit and that is a completely different look with it without it all right and then let's move on to this one here so when i'm color grading i forgot to mention this earlier i like to look for a starting frame i forget what they call it in film school i didn't go to film school well, i did it but i dropped it on the fucking third day but they call it like a, a key frame or like a starting frame or whatever so we're gonna find the frame that looks the best for all the colors once again like before i'm gonna open up creative go to browse in our love pack this time let's go with uh 170 see how this one looks this one brings out the reds a lot or the oranges the red same thing pretty much not really uh, i'm gonna turn down the shadows on this one all the way uh not all the way actually to about there turn up the contrast and then blow the highlights out a little bit turn up the whites turn down the blacks I'm gonna add a little bit gr of green to this one and then i think it needs more orange Just a little bit green like that and then the exposure could go up a little bit shadows down i like the way that one looks there if you guys want you can add a little bit more green to it but i like the way it looks right now so this is without it, with it. And then let's drag and drop the grain in the vignette on. All right, guys, this is the last one here. Let's open up Lumetric Color. As you can see, we have this clip here of him holding a gun with a bunch of safes and everything. Let's open up Creative like before for the fourth time. We're gonna find a completely different LUT from the pack. Telling you guys, every single LUT in this pack is insane. Like, can't miss out. Let's go with number 50 here. I think that one's 
too similar to the last one. Let's go with number one. Number one's a black and white LUT. So let's turn the contrast all the way up. I like to have the thick blacks when I'm doing with black and white. Turn the highlights up a tad, crush the blacks, turn the whites up a bit. I like to have that kind of like glowing look when I do with black and white footage, like I said. And then um, I'm gonna duplicate this and then go into creative and then turn the intensity down a little bit. Might be a little bit much, but that's up to you guys. Maybe we can play with the opacity here. Once again, this is why I like to use adjustment layers instead of on top of the actual footage itself. So there's our black and white clip there. And then let's add the vignette and the grain. As you can see, it gives you that really cool film look. And one more thing as well that I like to do on top of kind of black and white footage or just any footage in general, I put this on all my videos is my Vintage Glow preset. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. It's on my website. The way the Vintage Glow preset works is you wanna duplicate the video clip and then throw the Vintage Glow on it. As you can see, it makes everything that's kind of bright go up and then you guys can play with the opacity. And then let's say for example, we add Vintage Glow to this one. Boom. See, it makes the shelf pop a lot more there in his hands once you come in. And then you guys can just play with the opacity on their own. The vintage Glow on this one. And vintage Glow I know for sure will make these posters pop a lot more. So let's add it on top. And boom, as you can see there, like everything in this chain glow throw it on top there and i like the way that looks there all right guys and that is how i color my music videos in premiere pro i use my LUT pack in this video if you guys want to go check it out it is linked in the description below i highly recommend it there are 280 plus LUTs in it i think there's like 290 LUTs total to be honest with you so i colored four clips for you guys let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite if you guys like this tutorial i recommend checking out our last tutorial alongside a playlist of a bunch of other tutorials we have thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one